Hello and welcome all. My name is Khanam and this is my 8th video in PHP CRUD series. Okay, in our previous video we have seen how to update, how to add multiple data inside the database that is checkbox values. We have seen this one, how to add this one, multiple data inside this database. Now we are going to see how to add radio button data inside. Okay, only one value we can select and we will see how to add radio buttons data inside the database now. Okay, for that I'm just going to create a new table. Okay, first I'll be explaining you about how to add the data. Then we are going to update in this original table. Okay, here I'll just create one new table. I'll give my table name as radio. Here I'll just give table name as radio data. Here first I'll be giving ID and here I'll just give uh, gender. Okay, I'll just add gender here. Okay, for radio buttons we have to give the data type. We have this enum. I'll just show you. You can see here enum. If you just search in Google, you will find everything about enum. I'll just write here enum. Out of multiple values using this enum data type, we can select only one. Okay, here I have given enum. Here in the length, by default, if we don't give for ID, that will be 11. But here you can see here below, if it is not visible, I'll just increase this width. I'll just show you. You can see here edit enum set values. You just have to click on this. Okay, here it is asking enter each value in a separate field. Okay, for each value, if I have male, female and others, I have to enter that one here. Okay, first I'll just write here male. Next I want to enter female. Let me uh, give only two, two things here, male and female. Now you have to click on go. Okay, male and female values has been added. I'll just reduce the size now. Okay, these values I have added here in my length. Okay, length values, you have to add these values. You have to click on this edit num set values. Now for ID, I'll just give here primary key. I'll just click on auto increment. It will be incremented automatically. I'll just click on save. Now you can see my table has been created now. That is radio data. And inside this, I have only ID and gender. My ID is primary key. And for gender, I have given the length as male and female. And enum is nothing but it is a data type. Now here, I'll just create one file. I'll give my file name as radio data. I'll just give the same name. Radio data dot PHP. Now inside this file, first I have to connect to the database. So I'll be including this connect dot PHP file. Okay, where I have written the code for connecting to the database and we have to write this include. I'll just close in single quotes. I'll save this. Now inside connect.php, I have just connected to my database using this local server root. This is my username, password and my database name. Okay, you can see inside CRUD series, I have created new table now that is radio data. Now once I have, now I'll just close all the files from here. I'll just open this radio data. Now inside, I'll just come to bootstrap. Click on this first link. Get started. I'll copy this CSS link from here. And below this, I'll just write this basic boilerplate of HTML. And below this title, I'm just going to paste that CSS link. I'll just remove till integrity. And also I'll be changing the title radio button data. I'll save this. I'll just copy this path and here I'll be pasting that path. I'll just remove this. Okay, now you can see my title has been changed. I'll just give her radio. I'll save this and now if I refresh this, you can see my title has been changed here. Now inside this body, I'll just create one div and for this, I'll just give the class name as container and also I'll be giving margin top as five. Now inside this container, I'll be creating form action. I'm going to remove because I'm going to perform in the same file. I'll just give here method method is equal to post. Okay, by post method, I'm going to send the data. Now here I'll just create div. I'll just create div and inside this div, I'm going to pass this input and type I'll be giving radio and for this name, I'll just give here gender. Its name. OK, 
okay in the same way i'll just copy this one and here i'll be pasting that one i'll save this now if i just refresh this you can see i'm having this two radio buttons for each radio button i'm going to give the data here first i'll be giving male and second i'll just give here female i'll save this now if i refresh this you can see i'm having this male and female now below this diff i'm just going to create one button and for this button i'll give the type type i'll be giving submit and also name i'll be giving submit name is equal to submit and also i'll just give bootstrap class bootstrap btn btn dark i'll give here submit i'll save this now if i just refresh this you can see i'm having this button for button i'm just going to give space from above i'll just give margin y which will give space from above and below now i have male female and submit button here now if i click on male only male should be added if i click on female only female should be added now you can see if i click on male that selection will go from female and it will come to male okay this is how it works we have to add any one of this now here now once i am done with this i have this name i ha i have this name okay this name should be same okay if you give different it will not work you have to give the same name for both if you have multiple radio buttons then also this name should be same now for this i'll just give value value i'll be giving male whatever i have written inside the database i'm just going to write that one here male and female now once i have given the value i'll just come on top here i'll just check the condition if is set i'll be using this dollar post okay. i'll just give here post and when i click on submit only then this data should be entered inside my database okay i'll just close this one here this submit whatever you can see here inside my button okay i'll just give here okay here i have this one inside my button okay i have this name attribute that name attribute i'm just passing here okay i'm just telling that whenever i click on submit button only then this query should be executed now here i i just have to access this gender so for that i'm just going to create one variable i'll just give my variable name as gender and inside this i'll be giving this dollar post and i want to access that gender value whatever i select that i'm accessing that one and i'm storing inside gender variable now i have to insert this one inside my database so i'll be writing insert query insert into table name my table name is radio i'll just check once my table name it is radio data i'll just write here radio data insert into table name and my column name i'll just come here my column name is gender i'll just give that column name here gender i'll be writing values and my value is nothing but this it's stored inside this variable i'll copy this and here i'm just going to paste that value okay i'm just going to paste that variable which is having the value okay if i click on male that will be stored inside this variable if i click on female that will be stored inside this gender variable and i'm inserting that value inside the database okay insert into table name this gender this is my column name of my table values and this value i am storing here now to execute this query i'll just create one variable result and here i'll be giving my sql like query and inside this it will have two arguments first is connection variable and second is sql that is query variable now here i'll just check the condition if my result is successfully executed i just want to print this data data of radio buttons data of radio buttons inserted successfully else i'll just throw an error die using my sqli error i'll just write here my sqli error i just want to throw an error and it will take only one argument that is nothing but connection i'll save this i'll just refresh this one now when i click on mail submit you can see data of radio button inserted successfully i'll just come to my project and here if i browse this one you can see one male is been added here okay you can see it clearly male is been added i'll come here now i'll add female submit i'll just refresh once now you can see female is been added okay this is how it works 
again if i want to give mail i can't give both I, I can give only one okay radio buttons i can give only one submit come to database refresh this one you can see mail has been added okay this is how we are going to add i'll just come to structure and here if you want to edit you can and here you can add multiple values here i'll just give here kids i'll be giving kids go now i have male female and kids so for kids i have to give one more input field i'll just come here i'll copy this diff container and here i'm going to paste that one and here i'll just change it to kids and name gender and this also i'll change it to kids i'll save this now if i just come here and if i refresh this one you can see i'm having this kids if i click on kids submit data of radio button inserted successfully i'll just refresh this one and inside my radio data okay i don't have anything because i have not saved that one i'll just come here i'll just change this one here i'm just going to add here i'll just add here kids go and i have to save here only then it will be saved i'll save this now i'll come to browse i'll just refresh once now it will not be added now next time if i add i'll just come here if i add kids submit i'll just come here i'll refresh this one you can see kids is been added okay this is how we are going to add radio buttons data inside the database and in next tutorial we are going to see how to update our original project whatever we were doing how to update that one using this radio buttons okay that's all for today's tutorial thank you so much for listening have a great day